I do like Deception as well. Although it's tricky to play. It's one of the hardest ones to play. I don't like going against Deception though, because most of the Deception decks that we go up against are is face Deception with a uh, gift puts to attack. Okay, um... Hmm. Okay, we got a Nance. And we got small bag of tricks, which is not good. We're not gonna have the... Okay, this is good. Who's gonna get buffed? Aeneas. Well, if he doesn't summon anything. It's pretty good for me. Because then I'm going to do roadside that quickly. And I'm, I'm going to get at least 4 mana value. So it's a 4 6 already. Well, 4 mana value and possibly twice as that. 5 mana, 5 mana, yeah. Okay, so we got 5 mana. Very good, a full hand buffed. And unless we get a front line, this is gonna die, it, right? Uh, it's gonna kill it. Okay, so we get at least one more turn. That's nice. So it would be nice to get a front line. If we got a front line, Not good enough. I think I benefit from just uh, taking the damage this turn and then just buffing, right? Because he's gonna trade either way. Oh, he's gonna trade this one here and this one. He can still buff it, right? Yeah. Go three. And this way, I, I just gain a bunch of stats. I gain six mana. It's pretty good. Which one got buffed with a plus one, plus two? Okay, next time we can drop the Aegis Commander. That one's gonna die. Oh, it's not gonna die. Great! It's not gonna die. Great. So we gotta do this is stalling. So he can only kill two of them, so maybe now I can outweigh him. Because once I drop an AS he's basically dead. This is a four mana six six, four four, five five, so And I got the mimics. If I draw if I get another roadside outfitter it's pretty good. Or even the blacksmith. Blacksmith armor could be, for example, for a six mana turn with Jason. Because it turns it into a 5-5. Five five. It's good enough. So he's gonna have to kill all of them. He can pro possibly only kill one. Which means I'm gonna drop the Aegis Commander next turn. Summon a creature from any void. What's he gonna summon? Oh, well played. Very well played. Well, next turn you're dead, though. So. Okay. Uh, this is not good. This is actually pretty good. This is Olympian, though. I had a hat. It's the front line. This way, this is way too expensive to be. Yeah, I'd rather get the small one. Okay, so next turn is an eight. Or Trojan Golem. Maybe we can do Trojan Golem. Yeah. 
he's, he's probably going to trade this one here. Or, no, I think he's even going to trade this one here and trade the other two here. So that means I need, I still need a bunch of front lines. And I could be doing that with... Okay, so this one's uh, gonna kill two of them. Dude, you gotta be faster, man. Gotta be faster, gotta be faster. We're getting a bunch of Olympians, though. Because these are all Olympians, so... We're gonna be getting four Olympians. He's gonna burn to everything? What the hell? That's weird. They're both gonna die. Now that, that one's dead, right? And I can kill this one with uh, an Aeos. Okay, Anaeus is gonna get plus two, plus two next turn. Or we can do the mimics. We can start doing the mimics. Yeah, no. You're gonna get frontline so hard, man. I think I'm even gonna... Three Olympians, right? We do have three Olympians. So I think I'm even gonna do this. Get myself an enchanted weapon. Which is fine. Okay. I'm not gonna use... I don't wanna take damage. We can do Furies next turn. Because this is gonna be one Olympian. How many do we have already? We do have... Well, this didn't count as Olympians before, so... We can only count three here. I don't think it's gonna be enough for Furies. Pull the highest card from your deck to your hand. Whoa, that's pretty good. Okay, so we do have front lines, which is fine, okay? I think I'm even gonna trade this. Oh, we win. Oh, so pity. I wanted. I wanted to buff everything. I wanted to buff everything, man. Good. Nature, I'm missing a couple single target removals. Light, I don't play light. It's rare that I play light. Uh, then War. War doesn't have a lot of removals. You have the 5 mana 1 and the 1 mana 1. The 2 mana 1. Okay. Um, I think I'm just gonna throw away this one. Because we're going against light. Large Vega Trace. So we can do Trojan Golem and then a Shield Bear. Okay, so maybe we can start... Like, if we get another one of those Grimoire cards, maybe we can build an OTK deck. Okay, so let's see. At the end of... Is this an active? It's probably an active. There's no point in me putting Trojan Bone because it's just gonna die. So I'm gonna do Intense Training. Okay. Now it's not gonna die because it's gonna be 4 4. Nice. So supposedly, this is gonna change. It's at the end of each turn. If your God Power is active, it's random. Whoa, it's from other? I thought it was... Damn it. I thought it was from... It had to be from the same gods. 
It's actually pretty good, man. It's actually pretty good, man. Because typically, if you run stuff from other classes in your class, uh, if it's not Deception, Deception is, is built for that, but if you run stuff from other classes in your class, you're going to be able to do combos, like really, really good combos. <sighs> Set the creature's health to two. He's just gonna trade here. Damn it, boy. I need to do roadside dot feeder. Yeah, we need to, otherwise we're not gonna be able to. Otherwise we're not gonna be able to keep up. Oh, this can attack now, this is still has a bot. Yeah. He's gonna have to kill this. And I still have a chance of bringing it back though. A light deck that's. Oh my god, he got the, the, the mage one. Wow. Okay, we gotta we gotta go with this. Wow, man! So he's getting a new hero power, right? At the start of your turn, heals all friendly carry to alpha one. Okay, so several. Okay, that's good. Okay, so. You have reached the voicemail box of Kilo. Okay, which one do we want to have? We do want pretty big cards because he doesn't have a lot of cards in his hand. This is buffing all three of them. Yeah, I can do another Aegis Commander, for example. It's another five five. For him to go through this, he needs uh, he needs to. Shouldn't this change? Is this Delph, guys? Do you know if this is Delph? Do you know Dukies? Because it's taking too much time. Like, shouldn't you be getting already a new one? Well, it, it can't be Delph because it's a random common one. But it's at the end of each turn, so when I end my turn, it should count as well. Okay, we could do Aegis Commander, or we could do Blood Rage and Jason. What's the point in doing Blood Rage and, and, and Jason? There's no point in doing it, right? Yeah, we just drew... Get rid of one of them. We drop another Aegis Commander. Valve something really good. Like, for example, Seraph is pretty good. I think k is better. Because Kaipora allows me to trade two times. Okay, these guys are already pretty strong for five mana. Fury is the outright OP. Like now he can trade next turn, okay? So he's probably gonna pass the turn. And then we can get rid of 
I want to get rid of this one because this is the one that scales. Give a creature plus two plus two. Is he gonna trade? Well, if he trades, it's even better for me because I, I I have front lines. Okay, so. No, wait. If I buff this up, I cannot kill both of them. I want to keep this alive. Well, I can. I can kill both of them. Yeah, I can. Because I, I, I have the aura crush. Okay, perfect. So this one goes here. This one goes here. I do the aura crush. On this one. And I get myself. Um, he has the random, this is not the optimal one to have, but still, I'm still buffing. It's 8-8. Eight, eight. Although it doesn't summon um, a, a two other 8-8s. Eight, eight. So it's kind of like here, it's okay. It's not that great of a card. Still worth it though. Okay, now I just got to Put another front line. Yeah, why not? Saving the care for all. If I put a really big care for it's pretty good. This is fully healed, right? Okay. So he's gonna trade twice. It's fine. I can do Furies next turn. So that's pretty good. One of them trades, the other one's, uh, yeah. I don't have all in pins. One, two, three, four. Oh my god, I screwed up. Ooh, I screwed up. I'm so glad he doesn't have the the freaking Demogorgon. Because if he had, he would have won. Okay. So, still works. Is that after you play a card? We, we should get rid of that one, though. No, there's no way to deal with it. Okay. Oh, actually, there is. It's just a okay K4. Oh, Jason is already 910. See? If it's a 3 mana 910, then I say okay. Let it be worth $75. <laughs> Uh, this is a uh, strength, right? Yeah, it's fine because uh, Kepar still works. So this is the same as the Raptors from Hearthstone. Yeah, it is. The Raptors were a three two. Okay, so first of all, we gotta go against the right ones, right? So, we trade this one here first, then we get rid of that one, so that one dies. He only gets one of these. Fitting this one here so that it goes there. And now I can start doing a bunch of stuff, right? I can put another front line, I can put a Jason, I can buff things up. Oh, what do we want? Whenever your opponent plays a spell, draw two cards. That's pretty good for this guy. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. So 
do two second time more and then let's do Hades okay pretty good okay so this is a six seven already that's gonna get uh, it's gonna be an eight seven fleet protected yeah exactly it's one of the cards i was looking at that uh, is under value right now okay so we can get rid of that it's fine and i'll probably even use out of its misery summon another one with the same amount of health This is actually pretty good right now because I have one manas, right? It could be summoning infinite one manas. Or I could trade this up and put a protected. Decisions, decisions, man, decisions. I think. I think this is good. It's, it's supposed to bring another one, right? Oh, okay. Either way, so it's a 9-5, uh, so we have uh, 15 worth of damage. If I were him, I would just go face. But he has to trade everything here. Yeah. So this is gonna summon a uh, 3 mana. We don't have any other three mana ones. Okay. So this only works. Now, first of all, we're gonna do this. Okay, protect it. Perfect. Then we can do Odysseus. Now we just go face. Now try and get through this, bitch. <laughs> Pepito. Pepito. Pepito, let's go. Get through this, man. Get. And each of them is going to die and summon another one. And we probably have these guys here. Yeah. So... So basically, if you drop these guys on the... On the, on the This is dude this is super broken let's say you just drop one mana one mana front lines right and you drop this guy and then once these guys die they're gonna keep summoning each other man yeah they are what the hell OP because this is regardless of the turn, see? This is because I have another one. But if I have an, uh, only the injured soldiers, then it would just keep summoning them. Wow. We could wait. But since he only has one card, I'm just going to play with that. So this is going to summon another one one front line. Oh my god! This is broken as hell! So you just build a combo around this. You do you do uh, one mana front lines, or two mana front lines for example. If you only have one mana front lines, then this is gonna be, it's gonna keep summoning the front lines. So he's never gonna be able to go through it unless he kills this directly. So you could combo this with another card that gives one of your minions ward for example and you just keep protecting the Hades oh my god
And you can summon it back with summon from any void. That is broken as hell, man.